Thanks, Professor Tan and Professor Voma. I'm very appreciated to attend this exciting meeting. Today, my topic is pediatric MDS. We, uh, we are very familiar about adult MDS, but the childhood MDS is relatively rare compared to adults. The incidence of childhood MDS is less than 5% of all hematologic malignancies in childhood. MDS has a high risk of transforming into acute leukemia. In 2008, WHO classification put forward a new subtype of refractory cytopenia of childhood, RCC, in pediatric MDS, and still, uh, and still the REBT uh, still diagnosed in, um, in pediatric MDS. So this is a, a different in pediatric MDS. Uh, after that, a lot of doctors, uh, they uh, study about more about MDS-RCC. So today, I want to uh, focus on the MDS-RCC patients. We know that uh, pediatric MDS uh, is very different in adult. The bilineage cytopenia is the most common in, in children. And the hypocellular bone marrow is often more common in children. Also, the karyotype show that the monosomal 7 and the 7 q manners is, most, uh, is the most uh, uh, cytogenetic abnormalities in children. Also, the most important is uh, the therapeutic options in children is very different. So the option is curative. This is, uh, I think, is different from adults. Uh, the, this is the study published in 2011. Uh, they analyzed the um, pediatric MDS-RCC patients. They found that the hypocellular is most common in children. And uh, the karyotype showed uh, more than 60% of patients has normal karyotype. So this uh, gave us that maybe we should find some new genes to this normal karyotype uh, patients. We know that uh, uh, according to the hypocellular patients, the MDS uh, diagnosis is a little bit difficult. But we know that the inherited bone marrow failure syndromes have their clinical features and uh, clinical genes. So this is a, a little bit easier for these patients to di distinguish from MDS RCC. But uh, a plastic anemia patients are more uh, likely to be RCC patients, so there's a, a little bit difficult to distinguish these two diseases. The bone marrow biopsy is helpful uh, to us to uh, distinguish these two diseases. We know that the P57 uh, genes is higher uh, in MDS patients than a plastic anemia patients. Also, recently, some new genes, just like CDKN2B, this is uh, related to pediatric MDS. And also, at ASH meeting, they um, found some new genes related to MDS, but they are mostly found in adult MDS patients. So, just like Professor Wang mentioned, the uh, sequencing uh, test is uh, very useful in MDS patients. The treatment of these patients is also uh, different. The immunosuppressive therapy in this patient is useful, but uh, five years MDS overall survival is only 57%. It's uh, less than uh, severe aplastic anemia patients. We know that the stem cell transplantation is the only way to cure the patients, but in children, the outcome is different in different groups. This is uh, the EWOG MDS groups published in 2011. They give the uh, treatment strategy for MDS RCC patients. First, we check, uh, first they check the karyotype. If the patients with minor 7, 7 Q minors, or more than 6 abnormalities, so the stem cell transplant uh, was suggested. Otherwise, if the patient has no transfusion and the, uh, the absolute neutrophil count more than 1,000 per microliter, so the watch and the weight strategy was suggested. But the bone marrow aspiration should be rechecked in 6 to 12 months. 
If the patient has no transfusion dependent or the absolute neutrophil count is less than 1,000 per microliter, so the stem cell transplant was suggested. But here, if the patients have hypocellular bone marrow plus normal karyotype or trosomy 8, the patient could be used immunotherapeutic uh, treatment. In 2010, Professor Kojima and Professor Ito, the hematologist from Japan, came to our hospital. We set up the same diagnosis system uh, used in Japan. Uh, it's two, uh, more than two clinical pediatric doctors and one pathologist reviewed uh, all of the patient's bone marrow smears and the pathology and the, uh, and the uh, and the biopsies. Sorry, <laughs> uh, and we use the same uh, immuno uh, histo uh, the immuno. Uh, I'm sorry, a little bit nervous. <laughs> um, and we use the P57 staining. And, and uh, use the 2008 WHO classification to review uh, all the patients. We found that uh, our diagnosis uh, is uh, the same in, uh, in our hospital and in Japan. So now this is uh, next. I will uh, introduce our recently unpublished data. We reviewed 1,468 childhood cases. Firstly, diagnosed as non severe aplastic anemia in our hospital from 2000 to 2012. At last, the patients, 12.1% of the patients were diagnosed MDS, and uh, mostly they are MDS RCC patients. We checked the karyotype, 80% of the patients had the uh, normal karyotype. So here we mentioned that the patient should be used new, newly uh, technologies to test these patients, just like sequencing. Uh, also, the six point uh, five point six percent of patients had trisomy eight, and two point eight percent of patients had monosomy seven or seven Q minors. The, uh, the patients, uh, according to the doctors suggestion or the parents' uh, options, the, um, there's four treatment groups. One is use cyclopoxin A only, and the two is androgen only. The third group is cyclopoxin A and plus androgen, and the, third, the fourth group is observed only. We found that the clinical, uh, the clinical character, characteristics uh, is the same, no significant statistics. Uh, this is the uh, survival curve of these four groups of the patients. Uh, the results show that the five-year five uh, five overall survival is nearly 80% uh, to 90% is uh, uh, similar of these four groups. And also, we compare the RCC patients with the non-severe aplastic anemia patients. This results show that the use um, the same treatment, the non-severe aplastic anemia patient has a little bit higher uh, five-year overall survival is uh, 89%, and the RCC patients is um, 40, uh, 84%. But these two groups have uh, no, uh, statis, uh, no significant statistics. Uh, also, we uh, follow up this group of patients. The, we found that the children with RCC patients, the children with RCC are seldom progress, uh, but still the RCC patients had a higher possibility of clonal evolution and a higher possibility of progress into AML than non-severe aplastic anemia patients. This is the, uh, the patients had the clonal evolution. With Found that five uh, percent, uh, five uh, percent, uh, six three percent of patients uh, were transfused, uh, were, were transformed to M5 and some other uh, acute leukemia. 
Also, we know that some uh, new agents were used in MDS, but uh, uh, mostly used in adults. In uh, children, this, uh, the data is rare. So in summary, in children, MDS RCC patients had similar clinical features and overall survival with non-severe aplastic anemia patients, but had a higher possibility of clonal evolution. A watch and a weight strategy is recommended to those who are similar to non-severe aplastic anemia patients or who have no transfusion dependent. The diagnosis and the treatment of childhood MDS is difficult. We need prospective clinical studies for further observe. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, Dr. Chen.